I'm Jamie Labella, and this is 4 for 4 Tech, where we discuss four tech topics in just four minutes. First up, tattoos last forever, but one startup wants you to say goodbye to your commitment fears with disappearing tattoo ink. Jen, how does it work? Sure, they're, they're experimenting with two different kinds of inks. One that will allow you to kind of, the tattoo will disappear after a year. Another one just, it comes off more easily when you put a solution on it. They're different kind of molecules, which is how it works. But I think it's great. It's the next ev it's the evolution of wearable tech in a sense. So, Carl, would you use it? Uh, well, yes, as somebody that has considered tattoos but never been fully able to commit, you know, I think that's the millennial generation is known as being quite <laughs> non-committal. Uh, yet, at the same time, a lot of people are going out getting more tattoos. So this is a, the perfect solution for that type of person who is thinking about it but isn't sure if they really want to make the, the full plunge. So what, what I don't get is, like, we've, tattoos have been around for, you know, forever. And yet, why is it we've come to this point, like, with so advanced in technology? It's taken us so long to get to the point where... They could be removable. I'm not talking about transfers, but why haven't we got to this stage earlier? I mean, we should be grateful that we're at this stage now. I think it's pretty awesome. Do you have any tattoos? No, I do not. You don't. Jen? I'm getting one soon. You are? You can <laughs> use the ink? Yeah, sure. I feel like, well, for me personally, I don't have any tattoos, but this would be an incentive for me to try it. So maybe I could use it if I don't like it. If I like it in a year, then I could get it actually permanent to my body, right? Anyway, something to think about. Robots are getting an NFL tryout. The Pittsburgh Steelers are testing robotic dummies to run drills with the players. Carl, is this a good idea? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the uh, Steelers certainly think so. Uh, more NFL teams are certain to look at this technology. It was actually developed by Dartmouth, by the head coach there. And he developed this thing that's called a uh, mobile virtual player. So essentially what they did was take the regular football dummies and add some smart technology allowing you to control it from the sidelines, allowing you to uh, write the dummy if somebody tackles it. So it's a way to cut down on injuries that you would normally cause your own players if they were practicing like this. But Jen, on the actual football field, you know it's human on human contact, so could there any be downside to this? Sure, I mean, they, they move really quickly, these, these robots, and I think it helps you to just quickly make maneuvers on the field, and perhaps it could be somewhat unexpected rather than having a human. But, you know, I, I think that any technology that these guys use, they're also using virtual reality, is going to help them perform on the field. Yeah, I mean, remote, they're remote controlled at the moment, but I believe that there could be the potential to make them autonomous at some point in the future and that is going to be really crazy like a field of robotic football players all running around doing whatever they're going to do i mean yeah that i would pay to see sounds dangerous to me it does could virtual reality be coming to a courtroom near you researchers in the uk are experimenting with technology to transport jurors to virtual crime scenes jen will it work i think so i'm a big fan of virtual reality, although I know that we haven't quite figured out this must-have use case for it yet. But this is a great example of one way that it can be used. I mean, you put people in this virtual world, they can see it with their own eyes, see where the gun was, see how the body was laying, where the blood is, you know, splattered. I think it could help them out. James? It's really difficult. It's got to be really difficult for juries to visualize a lot of evidence that's presented to them. So I think this is a brilliant way of getting, getting past that. I do think, though, that it's, it's inevitably it's going to be fraught with legal complexities. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine kind of defense and prosecution arguing over aspects of the technology here? It could, be, it could be a big, big challenge. But I do think that, as a concept, this one's amazing. What do you think, Carl? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, already some researchers are using this uh, as far as crime scene investigation goes. So it makes sense to extend that. You know, in the same way that DNA used to be a very foreign concept to juries, now almost every jury understands what DNA evidence is. So I think we will get to a point where it is reliable. But you're right, James, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. Who controls what goes into the virtual simulation? What lawyers decide? That's a really good point. Great yeah. point, guys. So next up. A U.S. climbing champion scales a 33-story building, get this, using only LG vacuum cleaners. James, surely this is dangerous. No, well, that's no question. <laughs> it's extremely dangerous. Like, I, was, I watched the video, and it was kind of nauseating just to see her do this. So, yes, you're right. It's two LG vacuum cleaners. They were modified, and there was suction clubs placed on there. But, yes, yeah, she made it up the building, and, you know, it's pretty amazing stuff. It does feel a little bit like... Mission Impossible. I will not be trying it myself. <laughs> Jen, what do you think? Is this a good is a good publicity stunt? Will will people buy LG vacuums now? I think it's the greatest publicity stunt. I mean, that's all it is, really. Uh, people may want to go buy more vacuums because of this, but like you said, it was modified. But I'm, I just want to say that I would do it. 
I would do it. <laughs> you would? I would. Oh, my gosh. Your demo, Carl. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I'm ready to sign up quite yet, but if this technology is as great as this demonstration proved, maybe they should consider extending it to climbing technologies or other types of sporting and athletics. You know, why stick to just a vacuum? You, you could have so many more possibilities with it. So. But that powerful of a vacuum, I feel like in my own home, what if it sucked up too many things? You know, like my pet, my, my dog? Oh my I don't God. know. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, now you know what we think. Tell us what you think using the hashtag 4 for 4 tech We'll see you back here again next week.